Oh my God. Welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> what a strange match. Aston Villa 2, Chelsea 2. This is your post-match reaction. I mean, at the end of the first half, it, you would not be blamed. You would not be ridiculed to think that perhaps the second half is going to be even more of a capitulation. Um, even though I, I don't feel like Aston Villa did a lot in the first half, but they were clinical. We had the ball, but we didn't really pose much of a threat, I feel, in the first half. Uh, there was a chance for Jackson, the header that hit the post, but it was a feeling of disappointment. It almost felt like, as I've, as I've been saying in the preview, that I'm scared. I'm scared that the season could just spiral to to several losses from here on in. Um, I also expected a loss, and it was looking like it was going to be a loss. But the way the way we turned that game around, the way we came out in the second half with so much vigor, with with a clear plan, especially the tweak, the first time I've actually seen. Maurizio Pochettino do a tactical tweak. Seeing what was happening in the first half. First half, that left side. With Kukura being the widest player and Mudrik being more in because Mudrik on the ball was atrocious. Atrocious. He was ruining all our attacks. And some of the shots he was taking from range was pathetic. And the fact that we changed that around in the second half. We made Kukurea come more internally, put Mudrik out wide, almost to say to Mudrik, man, you're not going to be part of any of the play because all the play was happening on the right side. Everything was going through Medueke and Cole Palmer, Nicholas Jackson, Gallagher. Everyone was on the right. It was a clear distinction in the second half. The overload was on the right side. And Honestly, big up, big up to Maurizio Pochettino for, for doing that tactical change. And big up to the team. Look, one thing I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, this team, for some reason, like some of these talks, how we hear that, oh, the players like Pochettino, the players may have a backlash, even though I hate, you know, hearing these things and seeing these things that, oh, players will have a backlash, how dare you, but... It's clear to see their fight for the manager. You know, I know we got walloped you know, against Arsenal. We got walloped against Arsenal. You might be saying, where was the fight back then for the manager? I, I hear that. When you come across a quality team like that, you're going to get your ass whooped. But it's clear. It's clear to see every time we're under immense pressure, these players, they somehow come out and they fight for Pochettino. They do. Whether we like it or not, I still want Pochettino gone. I don't think he's competent enough. I think today's game in the second half, especially, look, I'm not celebrating or anything. It's still a draw. We deserve to win. We definitely deserve to win in the second half. I'm not even going to lie. I think we got robbed by VAR. I don't think that was a foul. I don't think that was a foul by Buddy Shield. That was soft. Like, that was shoulder to his chest. They were both looking at the ball. Buddy Shield wasn't, wasn't looking to get an advantage by fouling. He, they are both looking at the ball. Yes, I see that that goal should have stood, and that would have been a sensational comeback. We deserved it. And look, to be all on, in all honesty, we should have wrapped things up before that with Cole Palmer's opportunity. Out of all the players, you would have won the ball to fall to. It probably would have been Cole Palmer. You would have banked your bottom dollar that Cole Palmer would put that away. But nonetheless, look, I think the message still is quite clear. I don't think Poch is good enough. I don't think the directors. Are competent enough and i think the owners need to change the vision but one thing is clear these players they they do like pochettino they like pochettino there's no two ways about it i don't think they want him gone because they keep fighting for him shout out to madueke look i still think madueke is a player that look at best maybe off the bench i, I don't really think he's high quality player but shout out to him in the second half. I feel for me, he's my man of the match. I know a lot of you guys will say maybe Gallagher, maybe Kaisido. Kaisido was a boss in the second half, especially. Boss. He was a boss man. Gallagher is what I'm going to come to. But Medueke in the second half, he took the game by the scruff of its neck and really took it on. He took it personally. 
he was getting he was getting um you know getting into duels and getting into scuffles and he was looking at the crowd and he was touching his badge like I like that kind of attitude. That's the kind of level I, I if you want to play. And Medueke is a particular player that's been playing regularly now. That's the kind of level of performance I want to see. But once again, I think Medueke's game in the second half was aided by the fact that Kukurea came internally and helped not get outnumbered in the middle. Helped us control the game even more, but with more purpose, which allowed Medueke to be 1v1 out wide. Whereas, uh, as opposed to in the first half, Medueke was doubled up. One extra man in midfield dragged one of their players into midfield, which allowed Medueke to be 1v1. And I think that's where Medueke really, really, really started to shine. Good goal from Medueke, taking that opportunity. Very nice goal. But overall, there were still moments in that entire game, especially first half, where Medueke was not good. But second half, top game. Top game from Medueke. Gallagher, what a left foot screamer from Gallagher. Once again, another player that I don't think is good enough. If we want to progress forward in the future, if we want to play far better possession-based football, it's clear to see. Look, I know today we had a lot of the possession, of course, but some of the possession was meaningless. A lot of the time it was our press. We're trying to box them in. That's created that issue for them because they're trying to play out from the back. We're trying to box them in and try and win the ball. Look at look at Medueke's goal. That was great pressing from us, turning them over, winning the ball, scoring, and 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 also um, the chance that Palmer had right at the end to win the game. That was also from a from the press. Gallagher's shot, individual brilliance. To be honest. From range, left foot, screamer. In the future, we do need to be, I feel, Chelsea Football Club need to be far more far more ruthless with the ball. Better movement, better technical ability, better intricate passing. This transition, because we like the transition, we like basketball game, but this is not sustainable against better teams. And it's just not sustainable overall. Today, second half, it worked for us. Next week, oh, sorry, next game against Spurs, uh, Spurs, it may not. It may, I don't know. But soon we'll come across a particular team where we're going we're gonna to fall flat on our backside. So, yeah, look, kudos to the team for at least making that comeback in the second half. Felt like we deserved it. Felt like VAR kind of robbed us. Uh, I feel we kind of got robbed in that particular um, game by VAR. Um, but it's one point, it's one point. Look, I guess since I expected a loss, I can't complain too much, but overall picture is that it doesn't really mean nothing. It really doesn't mean anything. We're not going to make it into Europe. And, and, um, and yeah, the story continues. The story continues. Had we not considered those two goals in the beginning, we could have got something out of this game. And once again, we keep conceding, we keep conceding, we keep conceding. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, look, big, big performances from Medueke, big performances from Caicedo, big performance from Gallagher, good tactical switch in the second half by, by Pochettino. Um, and I feel like Aston Villa definitely bottled it. Like for a team that's going for Champions League positions, that... That's just, yeah, that's not good enough. That's not good enough one bit. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Smash the like button. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Yeah, it's a, it's a strange feeling, this one. It's a strange feeling. Um, happy for the comeback, but the capitulation in the first half was, was disgusting as well, equally. <clears throat> so, yeah, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Till next time, everyone. Take care. See ya.